Good morning. It's half past nine. I've broken into a sweat already preparing the aeroplane for flight. It's the hottest day of the year so far, 32 degrees, and we're heading from Blackbush to Dunkerswell. It's always a good job to start a flight with a clean windscreen, and believe it or not, checking it's clean is in the pre-flight checklist. Dunkerswell is in East Devon, about 25 miles northeast of Exeter. Driving there from Blackbush would take about two and a half hours. Our flight today is just under one hour. The route isn't very complicated. Once past the Odium zone, I'll head southwest towards Bournemouth and then direct. Well, it's a hot one. I'm sweating already. Clear prop. Blackbush information, good morning. Golf Charlie Bravo Zulu Romeo, request aerodrome information and taxi. VFR flight to Dunkerswell. Golf Charlie Bravo Zulu Romeo, Blackbush information, readability 5. Taxi holding point Echo, runway 07 right hand, Kunich 1016, Squawk 7010. Taxi holding point Echo, runway 07 uh, right hand circuit, Kunich 1016, Squawk 7010, Golf Zulu Romeo. forward a bit. I need to do my engine run-up but I must move a safe distance from parked aircraft first. Selector to the fuller tank. <sighs> Throttle to 2000. Engine instruments, temperatures, and pressures. With the density altitude quite high today, the aircraft will use up more runway than usual for takeoff. I always calculate my takeoff distances for every flight. So, this is going to be a left hand seat takeoff runway 07. Runway length is uh, quite hot today, and we're at ISA pressure more or less. Um, so we're going to use flaps we need with flaps 650 without 748 and the runway is 1195 so we could probably do it without flaps let's do it without flaps then uh, it's going to be a right hand circuit and depart the circuit to the west uh, right turn noise abatement after takeoff so it's going to be full power accelerate to 70 rotate at 70 Got tap the brakes the gear up the rpm back to 25 25 and then uh, leveling off at 800 feet for the circuit Golf Romeo holding point echo runway 07 ready for departure Golf Bravo Mike ready for clearance. Golf Bravo Mike, just stand by. Sandra on the phone. I'll get back to you. Standing by, Golf Bravo Mike. I'm mounted. Golf Silly Romeo, are you ready? Confirm. Golf Silly Romeo. Golf Silly Romeo, runway 07, take off at your discretion. Surface wind is light and variable. Take off runway 07, Golf uh, Silly Romeo. Brother Mike, I have your clearance now when you're ready to copy. Ready for clearance, go for other Mike. Go Charlie Sierra, brother Mike. Farber clears you to cross Farber Control Zone via Sleep Pond to VFR, not above altitude 2,000 feet. Hold northwest of okay. Sleep Pond. 
Zero, four, six, Temperatures, five, pressures are okay. Contact Airspeed's alive. Holding northwest of Fleet Pond and not above 2,000 feet. Go brother Mike. Go brother Mike, Mike. Is that correct? Flaps up, gear is up. Back to 25. So B8 might be 1125 feet to the circuit. Romeo downwind and we'll depart westbound. Golf Sula Romeo, what do you report leaving frequency? Okay, Golf Sula Romeo. Running light, fuel pump. Temperatures and pressures are in the green, and that's aligned. Sula Romeo has left the ATZ, uh, changing frequency to Farnborough 125250. Report to Farnborough Zone on 133 Decimal 440. Thank you for the service, Farnborough West 4572. Radar Helicopter Black Phoenix 03, talking 0464. Phoenix 03, Farnborough Radar, QNH 1016, change squawk 0431, basic service. QNH 1016 and squawk 0431, basic service, black and so we're on our way to Dunkerswell, uh, it's a lovely hot day, temperature currently 22 degrees up here at 2000 feet. We tuned the Farnborough listening squawk. And we're just in a slow climb. Uh, we're going through 2,300 and we're looking for high for this uh, route. We'll keep out of the way of everyone that's sightseeing down low. And we'll keep out of the various uh, mats areas that we're sort of passing not far from. As we climb, the manifold pressure decreases by uh, an inch every uh, thousand feet or so. We're just uh, adjusting for that. We're going to continue climb. And we're going to try and get up to 4,500, which is the correct VFR. Cruising altitude, 
Just checking temperatures and pressures in the climb. Cruise climb at 100 is making sure there's enough air going through the engine to cool it in this uh, long, hot climb. Why have we got... Uh, why are we doing listening squawk and not getting a basic service or a traffic service? Well, a best basic service doesn't give you an awful lot more than that. Um, traffic service today would be a bit overkill. It's cab OK. I know there are people in other parts of the country that aren't used to the kind of busy airspace uh, we have around here, or the busy traffic we have around here, and our last services are pretty overwhelmed on a day like today. So tying them up with a uh, with a traffic service would be uh, a little bit uh, inconsiderate, I would argue. So we're now around to 211. Nearly at our climb. Altitude. So here we are at 4,500 feet. We level off smoothly, let the airspeed build, and then it's powered down to 23. 23, that, that RPM lever is quite sensitive. Uh, as you saw there, I overcooked it a bit. Um, well, trim up here. We should get about 120 indicated. Pressure's, temperature's okay. Just going to lean back to 10 on the fuel flow. So we'll probably switch to Boscombe. My next frequency doesn't have a listening squawk, to the best of my knowledge, and I'll be fairly close to a military zone. So this time I make contact with them. Boscombe zone, Golf, Charlie Bravo, Zulu Romeo. Basic service. Golf Charlie Bravo Zulu Romeo Boscombe zone. Good morning, pass message. Good morning to you. Golf Charlie Bravo Zulu Romeo PA28 Arrow Blackbush to Dunkerswell VFR. Uh, currently six miles northeast of Bullington Cross, altitude 4,500 feet, 1016 VFR, and uh, request a basic service. Golf Zulu Romeo, request a basic service, Squawk 2650. Service Squawk 2650, Golf Sula Romeo. Golf Sula Romeo. I think I said before, things move quite quickly uh, in the arrow at 120 knots, so you kind of have to be one step ahead with your radio frequencies and things because you can end up getting quite near quite, quite quickly. Probably be talking to Bournemouth Lars next, I would imagine. 2650. Uh, keep a lookout. Don't ever get heads in. Bournemouth. 119475. I'm going to have a think about the uh, arrival as we're quiet. We're expecting runway 04. Um, it'll be a right hand circuit. Probably join downwind. Uh, we're going to have to cut in quite tight on base to avoid the uh, gliding site in the ATZ. Having said just a moment ago that a basic service isn't of great value on a Cavo K day, the military Lars controller proves me wrong. Approaching Bullington Cross now, which is our next waypoint. Golf Azulu Romeo, traffic believed to be you have traffic right at one o'clock, three miles, crossing right to left, indicating similar altitude. Golf Azulu Romeo, uh, climbing altitude 4,800 feet. Zulu Romeo, previously reported traffic now right one o'clock, one mile crossing right to left, indicating to 200 feet below. Traffic not yet seen, go off Zulu Romeo.
mile away and I can't see it below. I'm just going to do a little uh, turn just to see if I can see it. I don't want it to climb up into me. What's the zone area 35? Just confirm Portland is still 1010. A Portland, Power down to 23, 23. Didn't see it at all, did we? The eyes are only so good, you know. It's, uh, you know, we were close by a mile away, 300 feet. So it was good that we took the action to climb. So even though we're on a basic, I was saying earlier, wasn't I, that there's not much use in a basic service, but if the controller can help and they see a conflict arising, they will, but you mustn't expect it. That's uh, sort of the difference between a traffic service and a basic service. I mean, even a traffic service has its flaws, quite, quite frankly. Uh, but that just shows you, isn't it? You can't really see stuff. Beautiful day. Nice and smooth up here. Uh, 18 degrees, I've got a nice cool breeze on my legs. There's something to be said for coming up in the sky. <laughs> getting, uh, getting cooled down. Golf Sula Romeo at Morgan's Fail. Request frequency change, uh, Bournemouth radar 119 475. Good day, Golf Sula Romeo. So it's Bournemouth radar. I'm going to put Bournemouth uh, 6 score 0011. Thank you for riding along with me today, and a big shout out to the members of my supporters club and Patreon members who help keep the content flowing for you. This is the uh, mixture lever, and I uh, pulled it back there. I generally pull it back on the fuel flow to about 10 here in the arrow. That's what um, the owners of the group have advised that we do. You can go a bit leaner than that if you wanted to. Um, some of you may be wondering why do we lean? What is lean? Well, leaning is a bit like... These are very old-fashioned engines and they have no sort of electronic control to them. So unless you change the fuel flow going into the engine, it will always pump the full amount in and it just gets wasted. Um, but the, the sort of higher the density altitude, the less fuel you need. You need a, a less, fuel, less fuel to air mixture. So if you're flying high, you need to be leaned back anyway in order to get a combustion. Sometimes you could, you could find yourself having a lean cut where you've got this, at, uh, sorry, rich cut where you've got it at full uh, fuel flow. And that's too much and it's literally putting the fires out in the engine. So to be honest, at these altitudes you're probably fine. Um, the other reason you do it, of course, is for fuel efficiency and there's no point putting 15 litres an hour in if you can do it at 10 or less. Um, so that's why we lean on these engines. Uh, but you can lean too much and if you take too much fuel out, the engine will stop or start to get rough. And there are various methods for leaning. To be honest, I've never been told how to do it, um, so I'm not going to instruct you how to do it. But if you want to know how to lean, then I advise you talking to an instructor or an engineer. Um, there are things written up about it, um, telling you how to lean. They do it fairly crudely in this group. They want us to lean to 10, but obviously at different altitudes, different pressure density altitudes, you might need to, to adjust that. Obviously, if the engine's running rough, you need to adjust something. So we need to think about our descent into Dunk as well, because we're quite high up here. You know, some of you maybe don't fly up as high as this. We need to plan our descent so that we're not screaming down to circuit level. We're helped a bit because Dunk as well is at 800 feet above sea level. So our circuit height is going to be 1,839 feet. We'll probably get a QFE, which will help us. QFE means uh, height above the aerodrome or height above ground, height above the aerodrome. So we're, then we're, on QFE it'll be 1,000, but we're probably going to read 
1839. So we need to we're going to need to lose 4,000 feet before we get to Dunkerswell. And I've got to try and remember my maths here. I've got my rule of thumb. Now the altitude to lose is four. We multiply that by three, so that's four eight twelve. We're going to have to start a descent 12 miles. And then we need to work out what our rate of descent is going to be. And it's ground speed divided by two times by 100 or 1,000. So ground speed 120, let's say we'll come down at 120, divided by 2 is 60, so we'll have to descend at 600 feet per minute. That's my rule of thumb. Dunk as well, radio. Good morning, Golf Charlie Bravo, Zulu Romeo, inbound from the east. Uh, one one miles, request join. Good morning, runway one seven, QFE nine eight five. Runway one seven, QFE nine eight five, Golf Zulu Romeo. Ah, oh, okay, we're going to have that runway then, are we? One seven to southerly, and uh, it's left hand on one seven. So we'll have to join from the south or join left base from the south. We're already in November 558 Alpha Bravo. We're 21 to run, uh, request join. November 5 Alpha Bravo, runway 17, QSE 985. 17985, uh, 58 Alpha Bravo, thank you. So let's put this on 1016. And then 985 on here. We're going down to 1000 on that one. 985. Make approach on my one seven left hand downwind. So we can join from the south. Make sure we join downwind, we don't want to rush it. So if we head to, so just to the south of the aerodrome, in fact I see the aerodrome from here. And we've got uh, fifteen hundred feet to go and seven miles, so we're probably afford to slow down a bit. Let's make sure we identify the runway. We'll be heading north downwind. So brakes, no, fuel is on, pump is on, radios are tuned, identified, engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. Direction indicator is aligned, altimeter is on QFE 1985. Radio, Denver traffic, November 5, 8, Alpha Bravo, Beach Band, inbound, we'll be positioning downwind to 17. Golf uh, Zulu Romeo is uh, three miles to the southeast and we'll also position downwind runway 17. Morning, John. Morning. What's your range? Uh, we're about nine to run. Roger. Obviously, Romeo has entered the ATZ, positioning downwind to 17. Brakes under carriage is down. Three greens, mixture is rich. We're at right right right. Bravo, six to run, positioning downwind 17. So it's going to be 75 on final.
is causing a bit of drag, which is taking me down a bit. So I'm just trimming up. Obviously, the Romeo Lake downwind, one seven to land. Reds, blues, and greens. Go for Sea Romeo, final 1 7 to land. Yeah, we're behind you. We're just going to top up with fuel. Um, I don't know if you need any. Uh, negative. Okay, so if you stop over where you see the Baron, um, that's all, uh, we'll show you down to the hangar. Right out from Barber, Daniel Final, 171. This was a pleasurable flight on a glorious British summer's day. To get over to Devon in such a short period of time demonstrates the value of a private pilot's licence. What's more, flying is far more enjoyable and rewarding than a drive along the A303. Please subscribe, watch another of my videos before you go, and I'll see you soon. Fly safely, my friends. <laughs>